after updating the browser, its file on disk changes. Firewall warns us about that and prompts to confirm the existing rules for the new file. As we know that it was us who replaced the file with the new one, so the new file on disk must be correct and wasn't modified by malicious software. We confirm the existing rules. Let's try to open a website and verify if the old rules work correctly. As you see, Firewall functions properly. Sometimes we need to use rare protocols for network access. For example, when we download files from websites. Let's try to download one of the Dr. Web products. As we can see, in this case, browser tries connection using FTP protocol that is used for transmitting files via network. At the bottom left part of the browser window, we can see that we've been forwarded to FTP website. The 21 port is also standard for FTP connections, but we don't want to allow browser downloading files via FTP without our knowledge. So we allow the connection for this time only. Since we trust the website, we allow this connection also, and we'll wait for the download to complete. Everything seems to look fine. For some applications, we may want to forbid network connections. Examples are Windows Media Player and Microsoft Office product. Let's run the player. Media Player sometimes downloads details on our music files or movies from network, but usually we just want it to play them. So we'll create the rule which will block network access for the player. However, you must remember that if you use internet to buy temporary licenses for media files, the player might need the connection. For instance, if we try to access Media Guide now, we won't be able to load the data. To access, we have to change the rule. For this, we should go to Firewall Settings once again. We've already switched to administrative mode, so we can see the settings right away. In this case, we want to change the access rule for the media player itself, so we need the first list of rules. Here we locate the rule for Windows Media Player and allow all network connections. We change the rule accordingly, allowing the player to establish network connection. Then we save the changes. As we see, now we can access the network and download necessary data. Microsoft Office product may also use the network. Let's run Excel. Excel connects to Microsoft website for updating information in its online house. We are not interested in the updates all the time, so we create the rule that will block the connection. If the network is inaccessible, Excel just uses the existing offline help. Yet, if we want to update, we can change the rule. Here, locate the rule for the help viewer and allow it all connections. Now the help is updated again from the website. We tried various options, so before finishing this tutorial, we'll now return to the more secure settings.
We hope that this video will make configuring Dr. Web Firewall easier for you. And thank you for watching.